so as you can see here is the power bank okay and this is the controller circuit okay this is the pretty tiny 45 this is the MOSFET and this is sand for HC 595 shift register these are the lithium ion batteries 18650 and this is the LM2577 step up boost converter circuit and below it is the USB socket to which we will be connecting our data cable to charge our phone ok so right now this is the switch right now this is the this is in turned off mode see the LEDs are not glowing ok so let's connect the data cable and see what happens so here is the data cable right now I am going to connect it to this mobile phone okay the mobile is not charging let's turn on the power bank now if I keep holding the switch for 3 seconds it will turn on you can see the animation the mobile has started charging right now Okay. since it is in power on condition if I press the switch for like 1 or 2 seconds it will show me the battery capacity by the glowing LEDs the more the LEDs are glowing the higher is the battery capacity okay. so right now it is in power on condition if I keep pressing the switch for like 3 seconds it is turned off the mobile is not charging anymore as you can see here ok, okay. so if, if I want to charge my power bank's internal battery I just to take the mobile charger as you can see this is a mobile charger pin I am holding in my hand ok and connect it in here let's see what happens when you connect it after connecting it as you can see the LEDs are blinking in a series and indicating that the battery is charging ok and while it is charging even if I press the switch there is no action it won't turn on we have to plug it out only then we can turn on the power bank ok As you can see right now again I am holding it now it has turned on the phone battery is charging so while the phone battery is charging and the power bank is turned on if I plug it in ok what happens is that it turns off as you can see and the internal battery of the power bank is charging right now ok that's it